Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Maniway Barista Brew Scales. I'm doing this video because I just stumbled upon these scales and they're a revelation. I was of the opinion that the lowest price scales worth bothering with, for espresso at least, were the likes of the Barista Smart Scale 2 and the Felicity Incline Scales at around £80 to £90. Pounds. Below this price, from experience, there's a huge jump from the 10, 20 pound scales to scales like the Barista and the Felicitor scales. And these cheaper 10 to 20 quid scales I've generally found to be a pain to use, too much latency, not very accurate, having to use batteries and so on. But something happened recently, I drowned my Barista Smart Scale 2, well, I think that's what I did to them, they stopped working anyway after about 14 months of use. I've contacted Coffee Hit, who I bought it from, and they're looking into it. In the meantime, I needed a replacement. I had a cheap 20 quid one, and it did my head in. So I did a bit of research, and I found a couple of forum threads where people were discussing the My Way Barista scales. I could only find a few people talking about owning it, but all of them people were really positive about it. It's about 30 quid, and it looks the part, and if the blurb can be trusted, and not all blurb, can, of course, then it would appear to be an amazing set of scales for the price. So I bought them, as you can see, because they're here, and I've been using them for the past few weeks, and they're amazing. To be honest, overall, I prefer them to the Brewster scales. Sorry, Brewster. In a nutshell, the Brewster scales are just marginally quicker in reaction times, a tad less latency, not a great deal in it. And the Brewster scales are about 9mm more slimline, which is a slight plus in terms of clearance under the portafilter. But other than that, the MyWay scales have so much going for them. The wider, so they fit a portafilter on with no trouble. They're rechargeable, as is the Brewster Smart scale, so no messing with batteries, as with most cheaper scales. All the buttons, are much bigger and less fiddly to press, I really like that. It's much chunkier and it looks and feels really sturdy. I actually really like the look of these scales compared to other brew scales. The timer automatically stops as soon as you take the cup off it and then holds both the time and the weight for you. And this is a standard setting, you don't have to faff around trying to get into different modes as you do with the Brewista Smart Scale 2 which is something I'm not keen on about them scales. Trying to get from one mode to another is almost like trying to complete a Rubik's Cube. And as I've said, this is about 30 quid. And for me, this is about the right price for brew scales. 80 and 90 pounds for scales, or even 200 pounds plus for something like the Akea Luna, is pushing it a bit, well, a lot, I think, personally. But around 30 quid to most people, I think, is justifiable and affordable. And for most people, for manual brew methods and for espresso, I think these scales will be more than adequate. The one thing I would change if I could would be to turn off the beep. They start beeping when you start the timer and they beep every two seconds. And this is gonna be a huge plus if you have impaired vision, as are the big tactile buttons. But if you've not got impaired vision, I'm not quite sure why I'd want the beep and I can't find a way to turn it off. But I've contacted the supplier and I'll update the description text below if I do find an answer to this one. It's not a deal breaker though, it's still great. I'd just turn off the beep if that were possible. It has an auto off, which is set at 180 seconds by default, but you can adjust that for better battery savings. It has a countdown timer function and a sample counting function, which I've got no need for personally, but you might. And it'll weigh up to three kilograms, which is a massive espresso. So we're probably not gonna need that capacity. But if you wanted to weigh something heavier, like a house brick, for example, I don't know why you'd wanna weigh a house brick, but if you wanted to, you could. Or if you stumbled upon, I don't know, a big gold nugget, you could weigh that. And if you do, and it's too heavy to weigh on these scales, congratulations, you can probably afford an Akaya Luna. So I'm gonna pull a shot now so you can see it in action.
And as you can see, it fits a porter filter with no problem. There's plenty of clearance for cups with the Sage Bambino Plus, as you can see, but the Bambino Plus does have more clearance than a lot of other espresso machines. So to fit on the drip tray with some machines, such as a Gazoo Classic, you might have to be selective with the cups you use or get a lower profile drip tray, which you can get for some machines, including the Gazoo Classic Pro. So there you go. If you were looking for a more affordable brew scale that will do the job, I think the MyWay Barista scales are great. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, click here to watch another one. And don't forget, if you want to become an official Coffee Rotherer, you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to our channel. Tatty bye.